Dear learners, welcome to English World SKR Unit 5 Lesson 3 Helen Keller 1. Dear learners, today we will learn Unit 5 Lesson 3 Helen Keller 1. Keywords Humanitarian Disabled Inventor Plantation. Keywords That means the main words. These words may be unknown to you. That's why these words are keywords to you humanitarian humanitarian what's the meaning of humanitarian humanitarian means a person who works to make other people's life lives better that means the person who works for the betterment of other people's life disabled disabled who are unable to move or work disabled a person who is physically or mentally impaired who is physically or mentally unable to move or unable to lead normal life inventor inventor a person who invents or makes something new plantation plantation what's the meaning of plantation plantation means an state of cultivating something or an state for cultivation talk about the picture talk about the picture here is a picture so this is the picture of Helen Keller the woman in the picture is Helen Keller she is a famous humanitarian she worked for the sick and injured people she spent her whole life in working for the betterment of the disabled people talk about the picture who is the woman in the picture the woman who is the woman in the picture the woman in the picture is Helen Keller what is she famous for she is famous for her kindness she is famous for her philanthropic activities she is a lady of kindness she cared the disabled people she worked for the people who were sick and injured let's go to the next phase read about Helen Keller unit 5 great women to remember great women to remember there are some great women in the world they have done many many things for the betterment of the people of the world actually they are those types of women whom we should remember as long as we will live we should remember them as long as we will see we should remember them or the people of the world should remember them or these types of women as long as the world will survive number b read about helen keller helen keller was a great humanitarian that means helen keller was famous for his humanitarian activities what she did was for the people of the world 
she duplicate for the people who are sick and insured it means she took care of the people who are sick and insured who are physically or mentally impaired these disabled people could not use a part of their body these types of people could not use their parts of body properly for example perhaps they could not hear they could not walk they could not write normally these types of people are disabled people Helen worked for these disabled people all through her life. That means living her happiness, living the happiness of her life. She worked for the people who are disabled, who are physically and mentally impaired in her life. Helen Keller was born in 1880 in Tuscumbia, Alabama. It means the parents of Helen Keller gave birth to her in 1880 in Tuscumbia, Alabama. It also means that the birthplace of Helen Keller is the Scambia, Alabama and the birth and the birth date of, date of Helen Killer was 1880 the birth year of Helen Killer was 1880 her father was Captain Arthur Keller her mother was Catherine Adams Keller I think you have understood this line. Her father, her father, her father was Captain Arthur Keeler and her mother was Catherine Adams Keeler. Her family was not rich. Her family was not rich. That means her family was poor and its main income, main source of income, that means the main source of income of her family was cotton plantation. It also means that the main income, the main source of income of her family was cotton plantation. The income of her family came from cotton plantation. Helen was quite healthy when she was born. That means Helen was quite well. Helen was quite well. When she was born, when she was born, after the birth of Helen Keller, she was quite well. She was healthy. There were no diseases in her health. But in 1882, she had a high fever and she became blind, deaf, and deaf. But in 1882, that means she was born in she was born in 1880, but in 1882, after two years, she had a high fever, high fever, and she became blind. She she was attacked with a high fever, and due to high fever, she became blind, deep and dumb, blind. She could not see anything. She could not hear. She could not talk to anyone. At the time, her father was a news. Her father was a. At the time, her father was a newspaper editor. That means, at the time, her father worked. In. In 
a newspaper. She, he told, he told, he, her father told Alexander Graham Bell about Helen. When Helen Keller became blind, deep and dumb, in 1882, her father, her father told Alexander Graham Bell about Helen about the sickness of Helen. Bell, the inventor of telephone. Bell, Bell was a man who was the inventor of telephone. Bell invented telephone. That means Bell, the inventor of telephone, was working with the deep children that time. At uh, that time, Bell was working with the deep children bell uh, bell was working with the children who were deep later bell met helen and her parents later bell talked to helen and her parents he suggested parkins school for the blind in boston for helen the friend of helen's father suggested Parkins School for Helen and Parkins School's school was a school that was established for the blind children. Captain Arthur Captain Arthur went to the director of the school Michael Anna Ganos. Captain Arthur, the father of Helen, father of Helen, went to the director of the school, of the school, Parkins School. The director of Parkins School, and the director of the Parkins School was Michael Anaganos. Captain uh, Captain Arthur, Helen's father, went to the director of the school, and the director of the school was Michael Anaganos. Mr. Anaganos sent one of his best students called Annie Sullivan to help Helen in 1887. In 1887, to help or for helping Helen, for helping Helen, Mr. Anaganos sent one of his best students whose name was Annie. Sullivan. Annie greatly greatly helped Helen to communicate. For communication, for communication, Annie helped Helen very well so that Helen could communicate with others. Dear students, dear learners, I think you were able to understand the text well. Number two, match the words with the with the meanings. Now we have to match these words with these words based on meaning. So humanitarian. So what's the meaning of humanitarian? Humanitarian, a person who know who. So what will be the meaning here? Humanitarian. Humanitarian making people suffering less and improving their living conditions. Disabled. What is the meaning of disabled here? Disabled. Disabled. Unable to use a part of the board easily or completely because of illness or injury or etc. Disabled. Disabled those types of people who are unable to use a part of the body easily or completely because of illness, injury, etc. Plantation. What's the meaning of plantation? Plantation. A large area of land where crops like sugar, banana, etc. are grown. Yes. Inventor. Inventor. A person who invents. 
a person who has discovered something who has discovered something now we can match humanitarian making people's sufferings less and improving their living conditions disabled unable to use a part of the body easily or completely because of illness injury etc plantation a large area of land where crops like sugar banana etc are gone inventor a person who has discovered something no number d true or false true or false he pulls give the characters true or false there are five sentences here each sentence we have to if suppose if one sentence is false we have to give the correct answer here Helen always helped the suffering people yes suffering people Helen worked for the people who were sick in Zurb that means Helen always helped the suffering people it is hundred percent true it, did it is hundred percent true she came from a rich family no 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 she came from a rich family no she came from a poor family because the family of Helen Keller was poor she was not born in a rich family she was born she was born in a poor family so number two she came from a rich family her her parents her parents were rich no no her parents were poor so we have to give the answer it is false we have to give the answer she came from a poor family or she did not come she did not come from a rich family she was born blind deep and dumb no 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 no, no. she was born in 1880 but she became blind deep and dumb in 1882 so she was born no she was not born blind deep and dumb when she was born she was healthy she was free from many types of disease so it is false false the correct answer will be she was not born blind deep and dumb or when she was born she was healthy number four Alexander Gramble was both an inventor and a social worker yes Alexander Alexander Gamble was both an inventor and a social worker he invented telephone he invented telephone but when Helen Keller or uh, when Helen Keller was blind uh, became blind deep and dumb we got the information in the text that Alexander Graham Bell was the was the social worker uh, he was working with the people who were deep so we can say he was a social worker because in the passage we have got the information that he was working with the deep children yes we can say Alexander Gamble was both an inventor and a social worker so it is true T. Annie Sullivan was a good teacher of Helen Keller yes yes Annie Sullivan was a good teacher of Helen Keller but Annie Sullivan was one of the uh, students of Alexander Gramble. Annie Sullivan was a good teacher of Helen Keller. Yes, uh, Annie Sullivan helped Helen Keller to communicate well. Yes, number five. So Annie Sullivan was a good teacher of Helen Keller. It is true. So is the best answer. Helen Keller worked for women's rights. No. Disabled people for poor people. Yes Helen Keller worked for disabled people Alexander Gamble invented the mobile phone. No the internet. No 
the telephone yes alexander gamble invented the telephone bell also worked for the people who could not see hear or speak bell also worked for the people who could not see hear or speak yes here here because bell also worked for the people worked for the people who, who were deep who were deep deep is related to here related to here so bell also worked for the people who could not hear dear learners i think now you are able to understand the text very well so next i will try my level best to come with a new video okay bye bye